Hello students, today our topic is famous concepts of Jacques Derrida. Those are phonocentrism, logocentrism, phallogocentrism, supplement and metaphysics of presence. Before going into the details of this video, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. First, we will start with the concept of supplement or substitute. Derda says that we cannot find the exact thing for a word. In simple terms, we can say we, we can say the, uh, this like there is no connection between the thing and the word used to describe that thing. Signs are thus incomplete and we need something to complete its sense. For example, when we think, sorry, when we want a green apple, the picture of a green apple comes to our mind. This is signified or that concept or mental concept of that apple, green apple. But but we may get or always we cannot expect that we will get that green exact green apple we may get apple which is of red color or in the case of a flower we may th think it is a rose and we will get only that lily so there is a lack in that sign there is no fulfillment there is no completeness we are we are no we don't uh, get the exact thing thing what uh, that we thought this is called that lacking of that sign signs are thus incomplete and we need something to complete its sense supplement is used to complete that sense of sign here the supplement here that is the extra thing we are giving is green the color green so when we need that green apple we have to say that i need only that green apple we are mentioning the color of that apple that is the extra supplement we are giving here and derda calls this calls this as a signifier this supplement is there for necessary derda calls this supplement as signifier this signifier or supplement or substitute is very important and necessary to get the final meaning or signified if we say that we need only green color apple that green we are mentioning the word green there then we are giving that extra or supplement or that signifier green so we will uh, we may get that exact green apple. This is what he is saying that the signs or supplements, sorry, the signifier or the supplement or that sub substitute is very necessary to get that final meaning or signified. And here the signified or that final meaning is that green color apple. Here, signifier is necessary or important because it gives the impression that there is a presence of a signified. In simple terms, we can say that when we mention or think or talk about it, a picture comes to our mind. We uh, uh, if we mention that word green, there is the possibility to get that exact thing. We start thinking that we will get it or the presence is here. So, the use, uh, you, by using the supplement, we can think that we will, that, uh, that exact uh, thing or that concept or that uh, exact green apple uh, we, we may get that exact thing. So, there is a presence of that signified. 
it is not with us now but we in the near future or we may get it soon so this using this signifier we can expect a the completion of a, a perfect meaning so a signifier indicates or gives the impression of a thing which is not with us right now but we expect to get it in the future to get that exact um, mental uh, sorry exact me, uh, final meaning or that pro final product we have to use that extra signifier here that uh, signifier is the color mentioning the color green and we may get it that's why supplement or uh, substitutes or signifiers are very important and mention uh, sorry derda mentioned it as a it as a necessary necessary and and an excess also this is the uh, correct uh, words used by derda for signifiers next concept of derda is phonocentrism phon or phones means speech or speech sounds so uh, actually phonocentrism and logocentrism are not the concepts of derda but these are he says that these are the concepts of western philosophy and in some way he is criticizing both these concepts so here in western philosophy derda says that speech is considered better than writing because there is a presence of a person or a speaker when the original speaker is there there is a presence of truth also we can assume that there is, he is talking reality or truth so when we are speaking we are expecting that he the, that uh, the speaker is speaking the truth so there is a presence of reality but in writing there is no presence of that writer so it is not authentic because readers are only assuming what the writer wanted to say in writing this is the problem that there is no presence of that writer and uh, we cannot completely assume what that writer wanted to say to this world the readers are only assuming uh, the writer's perspective but in that case readers are also using their own perspective also so we cannot say that all those written that books are correct so in uh, in such a case we are giving more preference for speaking because when we are speaking there is a presence of that speaker in so we can assume that there is a presence of uh, or a presence of truth also so we we can say it as we are giving more preference for speech than writing speech is uh, is compared to phone so this phonocent phonocentrism is giving more importance for speaking than writing and derda is accusing this concept of phonocentrism why he is accusing or criticizing this that we will discuss later next is logocentrism logos here means a person or a core or an essence or a reality that is the meaning of logo a center or something that is very important or main point is called the logo centrism here means giving importance so in the last point we discussed that 
speaking or speech privilege over writing because there is a presence of a speaker so we assume that there is a we uh, we expect that he is speaking truth so there is truth also with the speaker for delta truth is dependent upon this presence of a core or sender this is the uh, very main concept of derrida that the according to derridian deconstruction truth is dependent or reality is dependent upon this presence of a core or sender where uh, there does he says that where there is a sender or core or essence is there he makes there is a mm, there is a presence of reality also here in the case of speaker and writer uh, the core here is that speaker he is the main point there and he is speaking the truth there is a presence of a speaker to talk about the truth so the person here is considered as a core or essence or sender here there is originality or authenticity because here is presence of truth and this truth comes from the presence of a core thus by logocentrism we mean giving importance to this presence of sender or speaker or core actually this is the problem with western philosophy that western european um, thinking supports only that presence of us of something or that presence of a core to speak about so this is logocentrism where the core or that main point or that essence we needed only then we can assume that that there is a authenticity or originality next concept of derrida is phallogocentrism phallogocentrism is very important and in this concept derrida is severely attacking the western intellectual thinking phallus means the uh, penis or that reproductive organ of males by phallogocentrism derrida uh, says that european or western uh, thinking is full completely depending or supporting male uh, perspective of um, perspectives they are that uh, all the literary works and uh, intellectual works all that uh, thinking process all are supporting phallus or that uh, by phallus uh, in simple terms phallus means that uh, reproductive organ of males but phallogocentrism means they are supporting that phallus or male thinking male productive organ by uh, by sub, um, male uh, supporting the male productive organ means supporting that male perspective and male thinking uh, which is uh, which uh, which is controlling that women perspective we there does in simple terms that i saying that women are not given much importance in that academic and intellectual world and we know that all the uh, second wave feminists are supporting this concept of derda that is uh, western world is at that time western world is uh, is male mainly male oriented Ju uh, julia christeva judith butler and all those second wave feminist feminists are uh, post structuralist think uh, thinkers and they are supporting this uh, modernian view of uh, of phallo phallogocentrism in sim simply we can say that derda was against this a uh, male uh, supporting this male viewpoints
next one is metaphysics of presence the metaphysics of presence is the idea that the core or essence or presence is considered as truth i have already told you that we we are believing that if the person or uh, speaker or core or essence is there there is truth derda here criticizing western philosophy completely based on the, this uh, based on this presence of an essence deridian deconstruction strongly oppose the perspective of presence or or that uh, thinking based on a core or essence and he is saying that western philosophy rejects absence and differences we know that deridian concepts are based on absence and differences because he he said that we cannot reach to a, a final product or a fi final meaning or a, or that absolute signify signified so there comes differences when i think about a pup, no, dog a small dog a puppy i in my mind a pomeranian puppy the picture of a pomeranian puppy may come but for some others it's another type of of um, dog so there is we cannot get that final co mental concept or signified it keeps on changing depending upon different persons so we can so uh, derda says that the final meaning never comes there is no sense so there is no center for anything it keeps on uh, changing from signifier to signifier it language is a play or, the, or is a, it's a play of signs or signifiers from uh, signifier to signifier and we never get that final uh, signified according to Ger, uh, derda that si uh, final signified is considered as a as a, um, the presence of truth or god but it keeps on changing the final truth is a transcendental signified and it never comes this is what derda says so uh, this uh, language of uh, derda sorry the concepts of derda are based upon differences differences here means it keeps on changing that is differing from one to one one signifier to another that is differing so his language or his concepts are based on different differences and absences derda never supports this uh, derda never supports the um, sashur's concept that language is based on a final um, signified so he is opposing western philosophy that we cannot uh, think anything based on a core or a main point or an essence because that main point or an essence keeps on changing derda argues that god or truth functions as a transcendental signified so god uh, in uh, deridian views god is a sort of a core truth that is a changing mental concept in simple terms derda says that we cannot get to that final truth or that final meaning or that by god he may, here means that final truth because it keeps on it's a it's transcendental signified that is it 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 keeps on changing transcendental means keeps on changing mental concept so god is a sort of a kind of a core truth a um, um, core truth means main truth that is a, that is a changing mental concept it keeps on changing 
so derda is rejecting the presence of a core or center or origins and essence derdian by understanding this metaphysics of presence we, you can completely understand what the concepts of uh, deconstruction that is derda is rejecting the presence of a, a main point or a core or a center and origins and essences derda is you know, believing in nothingness nothing can be said as real this is what derda said because the reality we are thinking is keeps on changing and he is accusing the western philosophy that western philosophy is depending upon a core or the presence or a meaning and for him it won't come it will never come thank you